Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a Spiegel Mom Scraps project. We are the 17th today and my days are the 4th and the 17th. So I'm working with my collection Obsession and I have two photos. This was just on my walk uh, towards my mom's uh, on, on a morning. I, I tend to go uh, Wednesdays and Fridays as a rule and uh, I just thought I would take a lovely photo of this tree and then a bit of a close-up of sort of this area here where the leaves are really 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 showing. I love the autumn as you know and I love autumn leaves and the colors. So I just took out this lovely lovely piece of paper from the Art Options Spice collection this side is gorgeous too but i at least i have this in the six by eight as well so i'm not overly overly worried and i just sort of nestled the photos in here and i've already popped one flare up here these are from the hey little magpie flare that are designed and made to go with art option uh, art option spice and i put that there just because it sort of fit and I wanted to bring in a little bit more green. That's all I have done so far. Now, what I have on my desk, one of the ideas I have, I have this die, and what I'm thinking I might do is trace it and then use sequins to sort of fill it in. That's the kind of thing I'm looking at. I kind of like this. Do I want it like that? Yeah, I kind of like that there. So I don't know if this is going to work. So before I start doing this, let, let me show you what else I have. So um, one of our goals this month over in Spread the Sparkle and with Spiegel Mom Scraps is to do some fun stash diving and stash bashing of our sequins. So I have this sugar maple set out from my stash and in it were some gorgeous maple leaves. So I want to get these on here for sure. Uh, I also have Rustic Living which brings in some of this gorgeous tealy green, the purples, um, some of the sort of like a wood grain, copper fall, also which you've already seen me use that I put aside for this um, collection. And then terracotta tea, which I thought, you know, maybe the beiges might be nice. So I have all of these. I then have these lovely charms, of course, that I got from Helen. I have my title... I'm thinking is going to go right here and this sort of broke in two but it, that hardly ever ever happens but I think I'd like to use that sort of there as my title beautiful Bramble Fox um, title piece picture perfect I have another flare here that brings in the teals and then I have this lovely larger flare that I this is um Happy Scrapping Studio in the lovely Happy Mail that I got from Scylla and this little chipboard heart so let's start with the first idea and then I have of course the rest of this Bramble Fox set here because I might want to bring in some of these leaves and maybe some of the other items here so sort of crisp air might be nice uh, so we'll see but what I really want to do you know what I think I should do is probably get the title down because that will give me some more spacing so let's just get that down Blue and get that down. There we go. So let me sort of pop that here. There we go. I think I like it 
there and then we'll pop this in here and nobody but you and I will know that this little piece has broken. It rarely happens. I mean, when I receive them, they are really, really well packaged and it very, very rarely happens. But every once in a while, there we go. So let's pop that there. Now, I think I would have liked it a little bit further over, but hey ho. There it is. So there's a little bit of an awkward space there. We'll see whether we add something to that afterwards. All right. So let's do the sort of important thing here. And I'm thinking, you see, I just want to trace this. Here. There we go. So, oh, can I even see that? Oh my goodness me, that's not sticking. Can I even see that? I can't see that, my friends, can I? No, I can't. All right, so let's try it with this. That's funny, is that not? Yeah, it's just I can't see it enough. So let's see if we use this. If not, I may have to actually go and get, see, I can see a little bit of it here. Let's try again. All right, let's see. Well, this, yeah, this will definitely show a lot more. And then when I get the sequins down in theory, the sequins will cover my tracing, so we shouldn't be able to see that. That's sort of my story. We'll have to see how it works. There we go. So yeah, see, I do like that. Then you see, I think I'm going to pop that one here, and then I can sort of pop in some of these. So let's, yeah, there we go. I think I'm going to like that. And these are going to be sequins. That is my idea. All right, so we'll have that. And then should we maybe put one more down here? So we will have three have that sort of come out from there. I think that might be a fun idea. There we go and have that there. And I think I'm going to like that the way it is. So, of course, the idea then will be to get some of these gorgeous sequins down. And I don't think, now that I'm looking at them, I don't think I want any of them to be too big. So, I think these teal and purple might be a little bit too big because some of this is a little bit intricate and I don't want to sort of, I, I still want to be able, obviously, to see the maple leaf. So I think the rustic living here might be a little too big. Um, oh, I think I could use maybe some of these purple, but I'm not sure whether I really want the purple on here. I think that it might not show up enough. I'm not sure. So I'm leaning towards now the terracotta tea, and the sugar maple. Um, maybe use, these are a little big, but there are some smaller teal ones, so let's put these in here. That is what I am leaning towards. Yeah, you see, that is the kind of thing I want. So I'll just give you a bit of an idea here how I want to proceed. 
and then I will go off and get those sequins down and then we'll finish the layout together. There's not going to be an awful lot more, just maybe some of these charms, um, another bramble box piece and these gorgeous little pieces. But you see the idea is to just sort of get the sequins all the way around. See now even that orange is a little, okay that's not, no the orange will come out but the brown doesn't. So I think I might go much more into these colors and the small teal. Yeah, there we go. You see? And bring that around. This needs to be the other way. go so there you go my friends so you see the idea is to really just go all the way around but what I should do is put sort of my line of glue beforehand so that I can just go around with my sequins and I think the the thing here to remember because there is a little bit of intricacy is to use the smaller sequins so let me go off and get the sequins done uh, my friends, and then I will come back and we'll finish this together. See you in a second. Okay, my friends, so there you have it. And it turned out, I like it. I like it. I think it turned out um, almost <laughs> as good as I had it in my head. So I traced, and then I did use, of course, the sugar maple and the terracotta and the smaller sequins. I, I mucked up a little bit here and I put a larger one, but I think it's I think it's okay. So I used some of the sort of brighter orange from Sugar Maple, a little bit of the copper, and of course the off-white or ivory ones. And then from the terracotta tea, I used um the teal and a couple of these sort of brownish ones as well and some of the smaller orange ones and I think it turned out quite quite well I like it now now I think you see I have a flare there and I actually think see I was thinking no, I don't like it. You know, I think we're just going to live with that little awkward space, but I think I'm going to pop another flare right there. Um, these colors are absolutely gorgeous. And of course, they were made to go with this collection. So they are quite perfect. Or would I put it here? No, I like it there. There we go. Let's pop that there. Now, I want to get these lovely maple leaves and they came from the sugar maple set because again as I said this month we are diving into our sequin stash my friends and get them used up now I think will I pop one here and you know what I think I'll pop it that way there we go pop that there then one here yeah one here and then do I want one down here maybe and this one could be falling that way there we go Okay, pop that there. 
Okay, now I really, I do like this. I do like this. Now, I had my sort of picture perfect that I thought of using. Did I put it there maybe or here? No, not there. Not there. You know what? I think it might be nice there. No, it sticks out a little bit too much, doesn't it? So would I pop it here maybe? Or maybe down here. Hmm. You see, now I'm wondering whether it has a place. Okay, so before... Oh, now you see? I was really... I was going to put this here, wasn't I? Or was I going to put it down here? I kind of... Because hmm, that sort of gives me a nice triangle, doesn't it? And then the picture perfect might look not so bad if I sort of did it like that. How's that? <sighs> I don't know that we actually need that, my friends. Do we? I mean, it is a little sort of lopsided, I guess, heavy over on this side. But then there is the gorgeous artwork here. So that might be... Fine. Ah, there you go. I think I might put that there. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm just not sure. You know what? I'm not sure. I think I might save this for something else. And I might... You know what? I think this is just a little too long. So what I'm going to do is go in here and get this one, which says crisp air. And yes, you see, it fits so, so much better there because that really was the place for it. That is where I wanted it. But I think the other one just maybe stuck out a little bit too, too much, was sticking out a little bit too, too much. There we go. All right. So let's just pop this here. Yeah. All right. There. I do like that. Now, now am I going to use a couple of these gorgeous charms? I, I'm sort of getting already into the mode of hoarding them. I have used them on one layout, but I want to get more mileage so if so we might just put a couple for the fun of it they are gorgeous um would i maybe put one here and one there like that maybe I'll put this one here yeah I do kind of like that and this one there it sort of just fills fills it all in doesn't it my friends so let's let's do that and it gives them some pop of extra color texture and dimension there we go and you know what, my friends? I think I'm going to leave it like that. It's a little lopsided, um, but I just sort of find that this is maybe a little too much. This looks a little odd just by its lonesome over there. Uh, and popping it here, I don't think it really adds anything to the layout as much as I wanted to get it on here, but I think I'm going to save it where I can show it off a little bit better. So there you go, my friends. So again, terracotta tea, sugar maple. I'm not sure, as I said, we are doing some stash bashing this month. Uh, so I'm not sure if some of these older mixes are still in the shop, but there are tons of glorious mixes over there. Use my code, of course, Moira15 to save a little bit on your order. But even more importantly, get your sequins out, my friends, and just use them. And I hope this gave you some inspiration to do something a little bit different than shakers. 
and finishing touches. You've seen me do this before. I do love using sequins for shapes and I quite, quite, quite like this one. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you back here very, very soon, my friends. Bye for now.